The Master's Eyes Shining with Secrets by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark Those bells ringing on the mist-covered mountain signify that the master of the temple is dead. The fact of the matter is that the monks there finally killed him. It seems that a few years ago the master of the temple began to exhibit some odd and very unpleasant forms of behavior. He apparently lost all sense of earthly decorum, even losing control over his own body. At one point an extra head sprouted from the side of the master's neck, and this ugly little thing started to issue all sorts of commands and instructions to the monks, which only their lofty sense of decency and order prevented them from carrying out. Eventually the master of the temple was confined to a small room in an isolated part of the monastery. There, this once wise and beloved teacher was looked after like an animal. For several years the monks put up with the noises he made, the diverse shapes he took. Finally, they killed him. It is whispered among students of enlightenment that one may achieve a state of being in which enlightenment itself loses all meaning, with the consequence that one thereby becomes subject to all manner of strange destinies. And the monks? After the assassination, they scattered in all directions. Some hid out in other monasteries, while others went back to live among the everyday inhabitants of this earth. But it was not as if they could escape their past by fleeing it, no more than they could rid themselves of their old master by killing him. For even after the death of his material self, the master of the temple sought out those who were once under his guidance, and upon these unhappy disciples he bestowed, somewhat insistently, his terrible illumination.